My name is Philip. Philip. Philip is going to remove a 3 8 five piece bolt. Um, step one is going to be to loosen it off about the length of the cone. So let's unscrew it a little less than half an inch and then hit it with a hammer to drive the cone to the back. Although, what we'll do, actually we're just going to disassemble it in this case because it's not rusty. Um, so let's just disassemble it, uh, pull the bolt out. The whole bolt. The whole bolt. Um, well, good question. I, I often uh, know that the sleeve is going to come out of pieces anyway, and it's definitely not going to start spinning in the hole. So I just knock the cone to the very back of the hole and just go to town on, on the sleeve. And I know I'm going to spend 20 minutes taking out pieces you know, one at a time. Are you using the 3 and tap then on the 3 Yeah. yeah. So, um, so, let's see. Um, You'll be able to twist that just really a couple of times and pull the sleeve out. On the wall. Yeah, the, the, uh, it, it, it does occasionally pull off the drill. Yeah. So is that a spacer or is that the spacer? Oh, right? but okay, that's the spacer. spacer. Yeah. All right, so, so now we can tap, now we can the, tap the, the, the uh, we'll see if, if you can well, get it. Well, it's a really handy. It, it may come out. It, it, get get the, uh, the blue is really bushing out with that. So that's your next piece. I didn't realize this was a long one. So there's your bushing. Next, see if you can turn. Yeah, well, that's, that's exactly right. Like, you can cut threads or if it's going to just spin. And if it just spins, you can yeah, pull it out. Yeah, and you can kind of feel it. I feel like I'm kind of heading now. And go, what you'll do is if you're actually getting resistance, you go forward about a, a quarter turn and then back a quarter turn. You know, four and a half turn, back a quarter turn. Don't just like lean on the tap or you will break it. Because you're creating a curl of metal in front of each of the flutes and uh, it gets deeper and deeper and then when the preceding tooth or the lagging tooth hits the curl, it gets really hard to turn. And so by going backwards you can lop off the curl and then start again. Hey, Should we reassemble the bowl in case the cone? Well, yeah, you don't have to have the extra sleeve. Um, just pull the cone towards it and see if it yeah. comes out. I said this is, this is not an ideal simulation of a bad bowl. Well, you know, what this is really good for the first bowl is because you can tell. What's your percentage on wall? You, you get them out um, almost 100 percent of the time. It just takes it can take 45 minutes on one. They're real, yeah, we actually real weird. Weird. Uh, when they're when they're flaky, uh, they you get like quarter inch pieces of the sleeve out at a time and it breaks off. And then you tap again, and the ball came out breaks off a quarter inch piece of it. And so the, the sleeve comes out in little chunks. Do you guys use a magnet as well? Like yeah. Yeah, I've got. Um, have you ever done it? Have you ever removed a, a half inch? It just wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It is. Half inch comes out a lot better because they are cohesive. The, the sleeves don't tear. They never break almost. And so the half inch comes out with one piece. So you tap about three quarters of an inch of thread, and then you use the hydraulic tool or the doodad, and the, the whole thing comes right out. So those usually take 10 minutes. So. And, and when 3 8 inch sleeves are very rusted, you yeah. can just drill. If, you can drill right through. You them, can just yeah. drill right through them with the half inch power drill. That's, that's it makes, cool. it yeah. makes a little bit of a sloppy hole because it, it doesn't necessarily stay standard. Um, so you know your cone is going to go further in if you're using a five piece hole to replace. But it's more secure, it wedges a little further because it's got a little sloppy in the back. So it's good for like glue ends though. Yeah, it's great for glue ends. Yeah, but it really depends on the rock type because you don't want to do it in soft sandstone because it, it would just it would wallow a giant hole. But if the bolts are seriously rusted, it's just, it drills through them pretty quick. You do, you, you go through a few extra half-inch drill bits doing that. Yeah, break the tips off. Yeah. So, is that working? Uh, do you so that re-engaged the cone. So now we have a cone and a sleeve that are firmly in there and we can cut threads. So you should be able to cut threads. That wouldn't have happened with an old installation. Old installation, it would have been solid in the back of the hole. Uh, I don't know where it looks like it. Right, unfortunately, like this happens more often than not when you do like a clinic. 
Yeah. Because you use a new bolt that hasn't rusted to the sidewall. So it's a limitation. So let's see if that is enough. To, uh, to thread this, you have to disengage that comb mount. So grab uh, another, since that was so bent, grab another one and to drive that. that uh,